cooking with Appa and today we are going to make that chutney that you always wonder what it is made of. Whenever you go to a South Indian restaurant, you know there is a coconut chutney, you know there is a green chutney, but what is that red chutney made of? So today we are going to see how to make that red chutney. So welcome to Something's Cooking with Appa and we are going to make the red chutney. So let's see what we're gonna need to make that chutney. We're gonna need onions. I've taken just one onion which I've diced up. I've taken two tomatoes which I have again diced up. Urad dal, cumin seeds, mustard seeds, curry patta, pinch of haldi, tamarind pulp, and uh, two red chilies. And also we're gonna need salt. Little bit of oil, and we are set. So let's begin with the process. It's very simple. I've already taken some oil in a pan. I'm just going to heat it up. Now the oil is heated over here. I'm just gonna add these red chilies. And just going to heat these chilies up. We're just going to heat them till the time they change tad bit of color. So the chilies have started uh, changing the color a little. So it's time for us to remove it before it starts burning. Okay. To this, now we are just quickly going to add the cumin seeds. And now it's time for us to add the onion. Now we're going to just cook this till the time the onions are halfway cooked. So let's get back together once the onions are halfway there. So the onions are halfway cooked. Now it's time for us to add the tomato. We're also going to add the curry leaves. Just a pinch of haldi that is turmeric and a little bit of salt so that it helps us to cook it faster. And now just mix it and cook this till the time all of this is cooked in. Even the tomatoes and everything is cooked in. It will take about four to five minutes guys. So you might be wondering why I removed the red chili. The reason I removed it is because I didn't want it to get burnt, otherwise it will give us that bitter taste. I'm trying to avoid that bitter taste, but we are going to need this chili later on. So I will show you where we're going to need this. Okay, so let's look at it. I had covered it up with a lid so that it cooks a little faster. It's been about six to seven minutes and uh, the tomatoes and the onions are cooked in. The raw smell and taste of the tomato would have disappeared by now. Now it's time to add some tamarind. It's gonna give that sari taste. If the tomatoes are too sour, if they don't have any sweetness, then taste the tomato before you make this and before you add the tamarind. So these were not that sour, so I'm just going to add a tad bit of tamarind juice. And that should be enough for me. And this is now nicely cooked in. Just let the tamarind juice get mixed in. Now I'm going to turn off the flame and move this mix into my mixer grinder. Now remember guys. I'm just removing it. I'm not grinding it. You should never grind anything which is this hot. I'm going to wait for it to come to room temperature, say around 15 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes for it to come to room temperature. And then I'm going to grind this into a very fine paste. So I will show you guys once that paste is ready. But also don't forget we need to add these two red chilies in here as well. 
So I'm just waiting it out for this to come to room temperature and grind it into a paste. So while this is cooling down, let me ask you something. Have you subscribed yet to my channel? If you haven't, please do so. And if you've already subscribed, there is a bell icon right next to the subscribe icon. Make sure you press on it. It'll look like as though the bell is ringing and that is how you will be getting notifications every time I put up a new video and you won't miss a single video from me. So please do so. Okay, so I'm done making the paste and look at that. Look at that. That is the consistency that you wanted that. If it is too dry, just add about uh, one or two teaspoons of water and then you will get this kind of paste. And now I'm going to just transfer this into another bowl and we will start working on the tadka. So I've transferred the chutney into a bowl and now it's time for us to start with the tempering. I've already put some oil in a pan and to that I'm going to add the udad dal. And I'm going to wait till the time the oil starts getting heated up and the the, there is a change in the color of the udad dal. Okay, so the color is already changing. I'm gonna add the mustard seeds and once they start popping, I'm gonna turn off the flame and add this to our chutney. And voila, we have ourselves this amazing, amazing chutney. So, I hope you enjoyed spending time with me as always. I'm gonna quickly do a taste test and I'm just taking a little bit. Just perfect. It's really perfect. It has this tardiness from the tomatoes. Amazing taste from that red chilies. You have to make this at your place whenever you make some idlis or dosas. It will be very different than that normal usual chutneys that you make. Amazing. So I will see you very soon guys. Take care. Bye bye.